In this video, I will explain how to link or export a Revit generated schedule to a pre-formatted Excel table without doing copy and paste or using add-on application. Here we already prepare with two open application, Revit and Excel. In Excel, we have pre-formatted schedule. Inside this pre-formatted schedule, we have values that imported from Revit schedule. Look here that these two applications are already connected, so it has same value inside them. Now let's try to change some data in this schedule to show how it's connected to the Excel table. First we change the row number by deleting some object in the Revit drawing. Then we change the comment text. Then we will change the column title here. Then we change the parameter value. Last we change the title of the schedule. How to put this new Revit drawing schedule value to the Excel table, we do this routine. Step 1, export this schedule to chosen folder. Step 2, in Excel refresh the connection. Now we can see the changes that happen to this Excel table exactly follow what happened in Revit schedule. After we saw the working routine of the link, now let's look for how this made. To shorten the time here I already make an Excel sheet with supposed format. First step is to get external data by using Excel tool. Pick an insertion point. Go to data then to existing connection then. In this window choose browse for more. Direct the application to the text file from Revit export. Click Finish in the Text Import Wizard window. Important here are the setting we must adjust. It was this property setting. Two option here we must change from default Excel input data property setting. Uncheck the Adjust column width. Select Overwrite existing cell with new data and clear and use cells. Click OK for the setting and click OK to import data. Now we have the value inside our Excel sheet. Of course there are infinite configuration can be done after this import routine, but let me show what I done here for the result that I have shown in the beginning of the video. First I put row number here. Then I link the title of the column. Then I link the value from imported text from Revit. Title this as subtotal. Then make the function works for all sheet cells. Next I sum all the subtotal below. Then I do some formula inside. Then I sum it all in grand total. Let me text this empty cells. For the subject, I link it to the imported Revit schedule title. This preformatted Excel sheet will work like this as we import the data from other exported text from Revit. Okay, this is the end of the video. I hope this will be useful to you. In the next video we will explore more possibility around these popular applications. Please subscribe and like the video that surely will boost me to make another presentation. Thank you and bye bye.